Oh, hi everyone. Red Outdoors here. Um, with winter approaching, we've got uh, you know storms coming, the weather's coming, wet, wet roads and everything. So I wanted to start putting together some simple kits and getting people to think outside the box in terms of uh, preparations and everything. So I had an idea that I'd go to the dollar store with a $10 bill in my pocket and see what I could grab. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to go over the items that I did pick up. You're, you're not going to see things like bleach, toilet paper, um, you know, obviously I could have grabbed a gallon of water. So you're not going to see those kind of things in this because that should be an established part of your kit. Um, this is going to be items that are more outside the box. Those items that maybe you don't think about, those items that maybe you're like, well, it's good to have a spare or things like that. So let's let's dive into it and just see what I picked up. First item is gonna be this Fancy Heat Wick candle. Um, it says it has a two hour burn time. I don't know if that's true. Uh, we're gonna find out, but having a little bit of heat, a little bit of light um, can bring a situation from really, really crappy and unfortunate to just a little bit cozier. So I grabbed this. I am gonna burn it later to see how long it actually lasts, but it was a buck and I figured it'd be good to throw in. Next item, speaking of uh, flame, Bic, Bic lighter. Um, the dollar store had these slim Bic lighters, so I actually bought a few of these to, to start carrying in my everyday carry, because I carry a lighter everywhere I go, of course, and these slim ones are gonna be, are gonna be really nice for that. So I grabbed a few of these, but um, you know, not every survival situation is gonna be, or even disaster is gonna need, you know, a fire or something like that. If it's cold and you can create a fire in your fireplace, great, you know. Uh, but you may have a disaster in the middle of summer and you don't want to make a fire. So um, this is just a good item to have just in case, but that doesn't mean it's the end all. Uh, moving on from that, matches. So I grabbed some matches because I have a propane um, um, grill outside. And so if the power goes out and I don't have access to my stove or something, I can use this and even if the starter goes out in my grill, I still have access to start that flame. So matches are great. I mean, each box has 32 in here and you can see I got, I got quite a few, quite a few chances for fire there. Moving on, braided rope. So um, I didn't grab the paracord. The dollar store did have paracord. Um, for the same footage, uh, I figured I would just grab the thicker, stronger paracord or rope. So I did. Um, this is going to be great if you have to tie something down on a vehicle or maybe you're, you, you've you got a leak in your roof and you need to tie a tarp down or something like that. So that's what that's going to be good for. Rope is always good. Oh, going along with that, heavy duty duct tape. So granted, it's not a lot, but for a dollar, you know, it gets you, it gets you some duct tape. There's a thousand uses for duct tape. We all know that. Um, again, patching a hole, uh, holding something up. Um, on the side of the road or whatnot, so a thousand uses there. Next item, <laughs> I bought this cheap light. Um, I recommend you have a lot better lighting than this, but I just saw it and I thought it would be good to throw just a cheap uh, a light in the kit. It does have a magnet on the back, so if you're working on your vehicle, you can stick it and hopefully illuminate what you're trying to work on, parts of the vehicle. Um, it also has a handle, so if you're just using it for like a uh, walking around the house, you know, you don't need to be using up your your lanterns and your fuel and maybe your headlamp batteries, um, that kind of thing. This is just going to be a cheap light that it's not super bright. So you, if you're just going to the bathroom or needing to get up and wander across the house when without power, it's going to be great for that. Next thing, I grabbed a boo boo kit. So, so often in this community, I see a lot of these uh, trauma kits and whatnot, and everybody's rolling around with tourniquets and quick hot gauze and things like that, but yet they're always missing band-aids. So, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, in a lot of situations where, you know, the kid falls and scrapes his knee, and if a band-aid makes him feel better, then a band-aid makes him feel better. So, if you're in a bad situation and a kid gets hurt and he wants a band-aid to feel better, I mean what better situation than that to have a band-aid so i just grabbed a few there's you know uh, some fabric band-aids in here plastic some squares so different sizes but it's good it's slim doesn't take up a lot of space uh next item 
latex gloves, high vis. Um, it's not reflective, but it's obviously brighter than I mean what I'm wearing now. So uh, it's high vis, uh, very grippy. So that's going to be great for uh, even in wet conditions. But having work gloves is always good. Protect your hands, and if you're working on the side of the road, changing a flat tire, the high vis is going to be good. Last item, candy. So the morale boost that candy can bring to the situation is great. Again, especially with kiddos around. So if you're all bundled up inside, you know it's it's you're snowed in, you have no power or whatnot. You know, playing a game with the kids uh, or adults. You know, maybe a card game or something, and the winner gets a piece of candy. You know, it it's it's activating the brain. You know, it's it's uh, you know you're doing stuff with your hands. You can play all these games and stuff and, and win candy. You know, so. The morale boost that comes with that and the activity, I think, is really strong and a, a really good idea to have. Plus, I love sour candy, so I grabbed it. Um, that's, that's it, guys. So let me know in the comments below what your dollar store has that maybe I miss. Again, I couldn't grab the whole store. I just I went in there with a the $10 bill and was trying to think outside the box. So I grabbed these items, and these items are going to be great for, like, a roadside assistance uh, kit in your car or even just, like, a... a, a kit for inside you know if you lose power uh, snowstorm depending on your climate what you got going on so let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, i look forward to doing more videos like this but until next time thank you